Hello, Mr. Creative Quarter here. This is part two of uh, the bathroom. So just an update of what tools we're going to use. And um, here we go. Something I've purchased um, um, quite a long time ago is this works um, little tiny cutting tool, which I don't really see how any refurbisher can be without. It's actually It's actually a plunge, a plunge saw. Um, it says electric cir circular saw there, but what it actually does is when you're ready to when you're ready to cut down on material, you can actually plunge down a depth of 27 millimeters. There's a little tiny adjustment on the end here. It says 27 millimeters and you can come right down to say three millimeters or six millimeters you can lock the tab off there so now when you press it you are only limited to about six millimeters so depending on the boards that are down here more than likely they I, th I think they're 25 or 30 mil boards so I'll more than likely need the maximum adjustment to go right through the board and then I can actually plunge. Uh, it's very, it's very lightweight. This this machine, is absolutely superb. So we can actually. Okay, so this this adjustment here is for the depth, the depth of the cut. So at the minute, it's at its maximum, which is 27 millimeters. So when you're actually, you can see basically this will, this will actually go up 27 millimeters. That's the maximum it will cut through and I'll do anything from zero which is pretty much flush six millimeters 15 millimeters up to 27. it also has a, a laser press this button here and a red light can come out so you're actually in line with with what you're cutting um, it's 240 volts so I don't mind the, um, the the battery type power tools but I don't think really you can never beat 240 volts um, in my opinion, um, you haven't got to worry about batteries then, you haven't got to worry about recharging power supply. As long as you can get to a, a, a sort of power source, the power is always there. Um, super little tool, had it for many months, um, but basically, when I do need to cut, so a bath will go here as, as, as described in part one. This toilet uh, with a new toilet seat can go here. So the bath is here, if I have a problem with uh, the waste or a leak underneath, somewhere underneath the boards, at least, at least with this, I can cut the boards, I can cut along here, exactly along the joist, and actually screw that portion of the, uh, of the boards down, and that can be like a, um, a hatch, so that board can be easily be lifted so I can get to the fault. If I screw a complete board down, um, I'm pretty much stuck. But if I screw it somewhere around here, wherever the joist, the joist starts along here somewhere, then if I have an inspection area where I actually lift lift an area up just in case I do get a leak, it's going to make my life um, and everyone else's in the family as well a lot easier. Just in case I have a leak. At this moment in time, this particular sink, what was here underneath these boards, I'm pretty sure we have. As you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot of water damage here, and these boards do need to be replaced. Um, so just a case of uh, replacing the boards, and um, and then going from there. So that's going to be a handy tool to use for the bathroom. Certainly, what people normally do is throw the instructions away because if you don't, if you need to look at the instructions, then you shouldn't really be using power tools. Um, but there's certainly, it's mainly talking on adjustments and on the laser level. Um, but certainly, when you're cutting a straight piece of wood, this little tiny fence here, um, which is this piece here, what's inside the box is the instructions, and there are some extra blades, some nice, cute little blades. This one can be for metal, um, this one is for wood or metal. 
This one is for wood, because I can tell by the, the angle of the kerf, which is this, that's a wood blade. And these two, which haven't been used, they're for actually cutting tile as well. So certainly when we're cutting a tile, it's actually going to go on the wall. Um, just in case the tile cutter was unable to do a cut and I needed a small intricate cut, then that might possibly do the trick. And there's a cut, there's a, the, this fence fits on the edge of the saw. So that will fit, that will fit along there, that will fit inside that hole there. And then obviously this Allen key will tighten the, the fence up. So if you are cutting on an edge and you have something to go to, this flat edge can give you a perfectly straight cut. So you've got a straight cut with this and you've got a straight cut with a laser. And naturally you get the tools as well to, I think it's 5mm, I think, 5mm, it is 5mm, that will go inside there. So this one's just got, this is probably 5mm as well, so just in case it probably goes somewhere else away from that, if it's inside there as well. So certainly this, this button here, it's similar to grinders as well, so basically the, the blade when it's, when it's moving, do this with the power supply off, but that button can actually lock, can you see there? So it's not locking there, if I turn the blade, it can push in a bit more. I'll do it again, so like that, and if I push the blade, there. Now it means that it's locked, if I hold my button on it, it now means that I can, you've got a padlock on here anyway, and actually undo the blade with ease, take this, take this little guard off and then I can change the blade. So a very versatile tool to have. Um, that's going to be coming in quite good use um, for the bathroom. And then we can um, make, all to make life a little bit easier because there's going to be areas around corners and such where I can't get to. And a big circular saw is not going to be able to do that. I mean straight away I know I can go straight up to the edge. With a circular saw, I don't think you can do that. I think there's part of the guard is actually in the way. So that's it. I'm just going to show how this works later on uh, when the toilet has been removed and we need to get the boards up because I need to get the thickness right so it lines up with the, um, the threshold underneath the door. So once we've got the thickness of the boards, we can then start to cut the boards and because um, I think underneath the skirt and board it'll actually go underneath the wall that's how these houses are made so all the joists are on first and then they build the wall on top so what we need to do is cut right up to the edge of the skirt and board um, and then we can um, take the take the board right up as you, can, as you can see here underneath the lino we have the lino we have the fiber board and then we have the main the main board um, so at least here I can actually get something underneath here to actually pull Pull the board boards up there. I would have thought they'd been 1970. I would have thought they'd been nailed down. So we need to prise them up and uh, put down a fresh board so it's nice and when you stand on it, it's nice and nice and solid. So we'll see you soon uh, on how this operates, and I'll show you how it works with cutting the boards. Thank you.